Hey YouTube people, thanks for watching my channel, welcome back. Okay, I wanted to do a really short tutorial because while my iPod is working and it's the only type of camera I have, I wanted to show you guys something I thought was very special about the Cloud9 side part cornrow. And as you know, I was showing you guys how I made it so that it's like down the middle, but it's shifting. Okay, this is what I said I was going to show you guys that I have done so far. And this is it. I have this ombre hair that actually the pink is really not that bright, but it's nice. It's more of a fuchsia than, than this purplish looking color. But anyway, I added this to the bottom of my braids. Now, you know, normally uh, I don't usually add color. I just keep everything in one color like I did the back, which is right here. And I don't do them all. I just do as many as I like to do where, you know, even if I didn't finish them all, you wouldn't see it. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you guys that I do. Sometimes, and this is a different way of doing it. I've already done two. Okay, and the hair that I'm using, here's the package right here. It's called uh, King Braid Soft and Silky. And if you guys remember this lovely lady here, she is uh, a fellow YouTuber as well. I can't think of her name right now. But anyway, you see her, you'll see this. And uh, yeah, um, it's by Bobby Boss. So I'll show you guys that. And I think it cost me $4.99 at my beauty supply, which is called Sterling. Okay, I'm gonna do this really quick because I have a show, the Paul Lynn show is coming on and, the, and, I, wanna, and I taped it and I wanna see it, okay. Okay, this is what I do. It makes it easier. I take the braids I want to work on and I put them, I, I tie some ribbon around it, okay? Then I take the end, as you can see, it's really thin. Okay, well, I don't have to undo it. I just, because it's on braid, I just start anywhere I choose for the length that I want it to be. My braids are currently going to be about 58 to 65 inches. That's really long for a lot of people, but for me, that's really very normal. Okay, let me show you guys the hair, okay? All right. This is the hair. The hair is not 65 inches. The hair is about, uh, it's about 22. No, it's about 30 if you start from here. Okay, what I do, I take a really thin strand. this okay and I already know from how many times that I've been doing this tonight where exactly I want it to be on my braid so I may take the braid which would be that one this one okay I take the braid and I take it about right here and I wrap it around and then you wrap it, again, my fingers are probably in the way. Then you take this, because this is going to be your third part, and you bring it in the middle. And then you just start braiding. And you make sure that your knot is so tight that it can hardly be seen. As you can see, you can't get around that, but if you're if from a distance, it can't be seen. And it will look like it's part of the braid and when you're done you're going to have an ombre effect so I'm gonna braid this in front of you I usually go really fast because I've been braiding my hair and hair period onto it for more than 20 some odd years so my fingers can move very fast okay and I'm looking for this to go at a 65 inch uh, Things. So I'm going to go as far as I can see it, right? I know my fingers are in the way, but as you guys can see, see. Okay. All right. And I'm going to keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going until I get to the end. Okay. I hope you guys can see that. Okay. And I'm going to keep going like this. This is probably the worst tutorial ever. <laughs> All right. 
Also, you guys, I was wearing my afro today, so I'm afro queen a lot. Okay, now what I do with the ends, I make sure that this little end right here, see that? That that's not sticking out. In fact, you can hardly see it, but it's just the idea. This is the end of the sensational hair braid. You want to tuck that in. And then what I'm going to do, because this is, I want it to be so long, I wrap it around my neck like this. I wrap it around my neck so I can get a better tug on it. And then you separate the hair because you want it to be ombre. So you want to make sure that the colors don't mix or else it'll look, you know, checkerboard. Okay, and then you take this end and you go over it. And you just keep going, and you keep going, and you keep going. It's very time consuming, but it's not that bad because when I'm watching TV, before I know it, I'm done. So, okay, like that. All right, and then I'm gonna just keep going, and going, and going, and going, and going. Okay, I thought I'd do this really fast because I haven't seen the Paul Lynn show since I was a little girl. And I just had a reminder on my cable that it is coming on. But I said, no, I want to do this for my lovely subscribers. And I'm always talking about how I do this stuff and never show anyone how I did it. So I'm still going. And it's if you break quickly, it's going to be at least 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes per break. If you break slowly, then it's going to be 20 minutes per break. And you may become a little exhausted and want to finish uh, at another time, which is totally understandable. Um, I had this planned. I had my hours in the day planned on how I was going to do this. So I'm going to keep going. Okay, well, you guys get the idea. And if you need to see this again, you know how you do. You just roll it back to the beginning where my fingers began to show you how this is done. And I braid it all the way to the ends. I rarely ever leave any ends undone unless I, you know, like I did here, right there, see? But I'm going to dunk that in hot water when I'm done. There's no point in doing it before I'm done. So that will go in hot water and it will uh, look great, just like I did with this, okay, from a distance, you know. And sometimes I'm, I might have to dunk it more than once, so it looks like when I actually done I will be dunking it more than once but anyway yes I am still braiding here okay sometimes if it's still too long and I don't feel like extending my arms then I will take the braid and I will wrap it around my neck again see how it's perfectly ombre you only have a little bit of checkerboard right in there but it's not that bad from a distance it just perfectly fades right into the next color and that's what you want the thing is is that if I don't have another one of these wigs you'd be surprised how I will take this down in a heartbeat and start over in another color I'm not looking forward to doing that so I will probably buy another one of these uh, which are pretty pricey I'll tell you that they're not cheap I'm not saying it like I just got you know all this money lying around because I don't but I do want this and I do want to do this again so I probably will buy another one and I will do it in either white or blue ombre. Okay, and yeah, and I'm almost done. Okay, and then I'm going to wrap it around my neck again. Almost strangling myself. And getting down to the wire. Here we go. And mind you guys, this is my favorite color. It's It looks like an electric hot pink, but it isn't. Um, if I show you guys a picture at some point on a video, you will see it is not an electric pink. It is actually just a regular fuchsia type of pink where there's a lot of red in it. That this is my absolute most favorite color. I could not just walk away and not do this. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm almost at the end, and I'm busy talking to you. So I don't know how many minutes it has taken me to do this so far, but I'm used to going pretty fast.